Good morning, girls. It is 4.47 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head down and hop into the sauna. I have just gone ahead and preheated it. I'm getting ready to take two dim prior to heading down there and I've just put a little bit of Celtic salt into my water. So I'm going to go ahead and take two dim and drink a little bit of my Celtic salt and then having my tonic getting ready for the day has just really been helpful for me to feel like my brain is on and all cylinders are firing at their fullest capacity. but I did just want to go ahead and drink this coriander water, get in a little bit of a workout. The first thing that I do, and the first thing that I cut when things get busy is movement. Now, as far as walking, I never cut that. I am always hitting at least 12,000 steps per day. Most days, it's actually closer to 15,000 steps per day. But as far as like actually dedicating 20 minutes to moving my body, lifting some weights, that's the first thing that I cut. And as I mentioned earlier, today is definitely a busy day. My to-do list is actually like broken into 15 minute increments. And so I did put aside a 20 minute increment for me to head downstairs and get in some movement. I just finished a couple quick emails and before I head upstairs and take a shower, I am going to be making a protein smoothie shake. I guess a protein shake is technically what it's called. I've spoken very openly about how I do not love the taste of protein powder, but so many of you have recommended different protein powders to me. I do use the Dr. Josh Axe protein powder in my coffee, the vanilla bone broth protein powder. I just put like a half a scoop with my Dr. Josh Axe collagen powder into my second cup of coffee. Now, here's the thing. I have said this over and over again that I am such a smoothie girl. I have been drinking smoothies every single morning for at least 14 years, and I don't like to jeopardize the taste and integrity of the smoothie. I want it to be super clean. I want to be able to taste all the nutrients. I want it to be a smoothie, and when I put protein powder in it, honestly, it just wrecks it for me. So, so many of you had recommended the Clean Simple Eats protein powder. And now what I have done is I have just made it its own separate drink. So I mix it with some whole milk or some raw milk. I only currently have whole milk. I will do a half a cup of whole milk, then I will just do water and ice, and I will blend it together 
in the Beast Blender. I think today I probably will do one scoop of gelatin powder just to give myself that extra protein and collagen is actually derived from gelatin. So gelatin is more of an unprocessed form of beautiful nutrient dense collagen. It's amazing for our digestive system, for our gut health, for our hair, our skin, our nails to get that extra protein. Now it does lack one amino acid to make it a complete protein, but the beauty is I am mixing it with whey protein, which has that extra amino acid, as well as the whole and or raw milk also has that amino acid. So therefore then it makes the gelatin a complete protein. So this one does have 20 grams of whey protein. As far as clean protein powders go, I always say Truvani, the one from Dr. Josh X, that bone broth protein powder. They are so clean, the one from Bulletproof, but also you guys had recommended this one to me and the ingredients are clean as well. And it definitely does taste pretty darn good. I will say out of all of like the chocolate protein powders or even vanilla that I've tried, this is by far the best tasting. And the fact that I'm not putting it in a smoothie, that was my holdup. I was trying to make my smoothie work with the protein powder and that's just not for me. As I've said to you, if you like protein powder and you want to add it to your smoothie, there is nothing inherently wrong with that. For me, it was just a taste preference. So I'm going to be making one of these, head upstairs and shower because I have a live event today. I have a bunch of calls, so I kind of have to get camera ready. So I'm just gonna go upstairs, take a quick shower. I don't need to wash my hair. I wasn't like super sweaty. I did end up clipping it up by the end of my workout, but I don't need to wash my hair. I'm just going to shower, get ready, and then head into the office and do a few more calls. So this got really big and frothy and that's because of the protein powder and the gelatin. It does begin to settle a little bit. How do I describe gelatin to you? So it tastes like jello, but not in a sweet way. So you know how jello has that certain smell and taste, but typically in like a jello pack or when you have jello, there's something fruity or it's like a citric acid sort of taste because it's with strawberry jello or raspberry jello. This has the smell and taste of Jell-O, but without the sweetness. So I do need to film how I'm making gelatin coffee, but it's a delicate balance because once you mix the gelatin with heat, it can become like Jell-O coffee. So it has to be a day when I can take my time and share it with you in film because typically I'm doing it really quickly and I don't really have time to explain it because I'm getting ready to hop on morning calls. And the reason I do that is because I'm getting a ton of protein. So what we did is we did the 20 grams of protein plus the 10 grams from the gelatin, then the milk in and of itself had seven grams. We have 37 grams of protein in here. It is super frothy, but when it settles, it's down to here. This is the Beast Blender top, so it just kind of has the mouth for you to drink out of. So I'm going to go ahead and have this. I'm also getting ready to take one of my Bio Optimizers Magnesium Breakthrough. So I frequently talk about the Magnesium Breakthrough, and it's a product that I have been on for over two years. And we often think about magnesium for deep restful sleep. And while yes, there are forms of magnesium that induce deeper, more restful sleep, we've talked about how I measure that on my aura ring. There's also magnesium for cognition and there's magnesium for energy. And so because I did just do a workout and as I mentioned, I have a live event that I need to hop on and then I have back-to-back -back calls after that. So I need the magnesium for brain function. So I'm going to be taking one of the magnesium breakthroughs and I take four of these throughout the day. So I take one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and then two before bed. And the beautiful thing with the Bio-Optimizer's Magnesium Breakthrough is that it does contain all seven forms of elemental magnesium in one convenient capsule. There is no other magnesium on the market that has that delivery system. And the thing about magnesium is that 70%, and I think that's grossly underrated, 70% of Americans are magnesium deficient. And you cannot properly synthesize the vitamin D, even though it's snowing right now, you cannot properly synthesize your vitamin D, whether you're getting it supplement form or directly from the sun. You cannot properly synthesize vitamin D without adequate levels of magnesium. And magnesium is necessary for over 300 enzymatic properties 
in the body. So I'm getting ready to take one of these, have that with my protein, head up and take a shower so that by the time I sit down and I get ready to do work, I will feel sharp and bright and extra energized. live event with the girls for living well if you're not in the living well membership area it is my monthly membership site and as i was on that call i was talking with the group of ladies live and i realized that i frequently share over on instagram how the membership site and my services are both hsa and fsa approved and I don't know if I've ever mentioned that here on YouTube. So I want to emphasize that my services are HSA and FSA approved. So if you have an HSA card, you can use that to pay for the membership or my services. Or if you're already a member, you can go ahead and use your receipt for reimbursement from your HSA account. So Shannon, I know that you and I were just on the call and I realized that when you didn't realize that living well was HSA and FSA approved, it's because I've don't know if I've ever mentioned it here on YouTube, but I talk about it so frequently over on Instagram. I know many of you don't have Instagram, you don't have social media, um, but if you do have Instagram, I would highly recommend that you come over and follow me because I'm on there every day sharing updates, recipes, and things that I'm not sharing here as often. But with that being said, YouTube is my favorite platform, my most preferred platform by far. I love long form content. There's nothing better than connecting with you girls for like 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes 25 minutes. There's nothing better than that. I just feel like the relationships that I've built over here on this platform are so different than the ones on Instagram where people are constantly clicking away every six seconds. Where over here is just an entirely different connection and vibe, which I love and appreciate. So I just finished up our Living Well Live event. We do a live event once a month, which is truly one of my absolute favorite things to do. March is dedicated to nutrition for energy and vitality, which has been so incredible and so amazing. And the feedback on this live event was honestly, it just blew me away. The good news is if you're seeing this video after March or even at the end of March, you can join Living Well at any time and have access to the previous course material. You will be able to go through and eat off all of the previous month's meal plans, the previous week's meal plans, and you can watch the recording of the live event. All of the live event recordings are inside the membership area. So I'm going to head out to the kitchen. I washed all of the berries and I was like letting them dry as I went upstairs to shower and get ready for the event. Now I'm going to go ahead and pack those up. And then I wanna show you girls how I make my DIY dusting spray. I have been absolutely obsessed with this dusting spray. It performs better than you can imagine, honestly. And I think I'm nearly out, if not at the very bottom of it. So we're gonna make a fresh batch of the DIY dusting spray. My list is this long. So I figured, you know what? It's a good idea to make some fresh dusting spray. Said no one ever. I don't know why I do these things, but I'm like, now's a good time. We should probably do that. This has to be honestly one of the easiest recipes ever. We're taking one cup of water, a quarter cup of white vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil, and then between 20 and 30 drops of essential oil. We're going to put that into a glass bottle, shake it up, and then you have your very own DIY non-toxic dusting spray. I love to have this one, one, because of course it's easy to make at home. Second to that, the ingredients are as clean as it can possibly get, everything that you already have in your kitchen, and three, it does a really beautiful job at keeping the house clean.
So it is truly that simple. And then you just shake it up whenever you're about to use it and you can spray it on all of your surfaces. And honestly, it smells delicious. It's so soothing. And you'll have to let me know in the comment section down below if you're gonna give this one a try. So Sawyer and I have finished eating. The boys are not home from soccer yet, so I still have the chili, just a quick, easy dinner. We're headed out of town in a few days, so I didn't wanna buy a ton of fresh produce. So I was using up the carrots, using up the onions, and using that inside the chili. You can see I ate mine over a bed of greens, but for Kaya, I actually cooked a, a Japanese yam because I do have like a chili stuffed yam recipe on the membership site. So I figured I would kind of recreate that recipe for him. He also might have some greens on the side. Super easy, simple dinner. I just finished cleaning up as you saw. I was using our DIY spray. As you saw here, I also used it on the cooktop. Then I'm gonna get Sawyer in her jammies, help out with Ro when they like come in the door from soccer. It's already like after 7 p.m. So he comes in, he's so hungry, and then he has to take a shower. He has to do his reading and do any extra homework that he couldn't finish before soccer. So it's always like a really tight turnaround. But then after that, when the house is settled, I can take my everything shower and make a beautiful cup of tea. girls so we've gotten everybody to bed i have now switched over to lemon balm tea and i'm getting ready to take two of my magnesium breakthroughs before heading upstairs and taking the shower of all showers so if you're interested in trying by optimizers i will have my discount code as well as my link for you in the description box down below and if you like today's video you can let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and now the subscribe button is right over here on the screen give that a click that way you don't miss a single video and i hope to see you back here next thursday